What's going on, dudes? Clean Kaiba and the gents here. We got a deck profile for here. Top eight, Indianapolis, uh, March 30th, 2024. Got the mat right there. And uh, who do we got and what did you play? Uh, my name is Zach. Uh, I played Snake Eyes with a little bit of extra. Extra, all right. Let's get into the profile. Um, three Ash, Poplar, Oak, two Flamberge. Okay. Uh, Mr. Thomas Newman helped me kind of do my snake eyes ratios. Yeah. Uh, I just played one DFL star. Only had more room for one. Um, because I had to make room for these guys. Yeah. Uh, the horse monsters. Um, I'm a big fan of the horse cards. Loved them. Um, and they just weren't good enough on their own. They need a little help. And the snake eyes cards help provide that. A lot of people just didn't see big idiots swing hard. Yeah. So... Um, four hand traps, three Baylor, three Ash, three Crow. Mm -hmm. Um, I did these three because in my original deck before the regional, I was playing Small World. Um, and these all help intermingle. Well, Small World was cut for uh, me purchasing Wanteds. Um, and so this should be probably. Uh, Crow should probably be Imperm. It's just a better okay. card there. All right. Uh, MVP Monster. Volcanic <laughs> Shell. Um, King Sark plus this. This is Nimseti. Diabelle starting this. Just a free advantage. Right. Uh, level one, fire, pyro. Yeah. Just all synergistic with both engines. Yep. So much fun. Spell cards. Uh, Temple. Original. Uh, one for one to go get them are the monsters and wanteds. Yeah. And then for the horror stuff, terraforming. Maxed uh, out. All right. Maxed out. We wanted to see the horse cards. Um, I just think they're absolutely busted. Yeah, they are insane. They're just free real estate. And the 40th card was called by. Cool, cool. 40 card deck. Um... Extra deck, seen a lot of changes um, over time. Mm -hmm. um, started out as a rank eight focused and then went more link focused. Coach King, um, sometimes you just open the horse engine and if you're drawing three cards in this deck, you're probably getting a getting to a way to see a snake eye card. True. Seifan, another big idiot hit strong and then the floodgate from somebody from the gray is pretty good too. Uh, zombie vampire, um, this card was cut for a second and then we put it back in. I think I made this four or five times a day where I did not see snake eye cards. I milled four, summoned Ash off of it, and proceeded to snake eye combo. That's awesome. And then Titanic Clad. Cool. Or Hope Harbinger, sorry. Not Titanic Clad. Uh, Link Ones. Anima. Link Kribo. Yeah. Pretty standard. Okay, one of each. Nice. Um, obviously, the Charmers. Uh and SPIP. Um, oh, good cards. These are pretty standard if you like in the Fire King, or not Fire King, uh, Snake Eye deck. Um, and then we got these guys. Once again, I feel like that's pretty standard. Mm -hmm. um, Oppo, another standard card. And I played Underworld. Um, I thought there was gonna be some Raid Raptors out here and I wanted to make sure I had out. I summoned it once or twice. Okay, so it still came out. Um, was there anything you like didn't summon at all or you used all of it? Uh, I think I used every single card in this extra deck. There wasn't a single card I did not make once. Sounds like good deck building. Uh, side deck. I expected a lot of stun and back row heavy decks. So I played these guys. Um, they came in many times. Yeah. Good way to just beat floodgates too. Mm-hmm. Uh, against Cash Tira, dude set three and I uh, lightning stormed him and proceeded to win. Um, this should be the main deck. This should probably be Crow or a different card. Okay. Uh, Drone Lockbird. Um, it's pretty good against combo decks. Mm -hmm. um, and then Crossout Designator and Shifter. Um, just for the Shifter decks I expected, just like I said, see flu. Stun. I didn't really see as much of that as I thought I would, so this didn't really come in. But after playing 
Uh, enough at locals, I'm like, I need to pr be able to protect myself against this card. Right, have because... something. But yeah, the cross out, was that pretty good? Because I mean, you're already playing pretty much an array of all the hand traps, except for, I think you have no nibs. I have no nibs. Uh, you could argue Crow could be that instead. Okay. Or um, you can even do like smaller ratios, I guess. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, the hand trap ratio, I think definitely could be reworked. But uh, overall, um, the deck just hits hard. That's right. all it does. Um, so yeah, I mean, you showed that the, the Horus, like with Vampire and whatnot, that can get you to the Snake Eyes, but the Snake Eyes can't really get you to the Horus. Correct. But yeah. you are also, yeah, you maxed out on maximum ways to get to basically m -Zeddy or whatever. So yeah. Or just ways to play. Um, this has been a deck that um, really the entire group back in Muskegon has been working on. Yeah. Uh, and you've been whooping my butt at least with it personally and it's just like man it's like this deck actually is just a lot better than i would give it credit for yeah i mean it's, it's snake eyes are just inherently powerful and i think the horse monsters are just crazy as well and just try to combine a little bit of the best of both and yeah. um work today so what was uh, your what was your record what did, what did you lose to again uh i was seven one and one um i round one and two were against brandon chimera uh, round three was against Plants, uh, Rika, Sun, Navalon. Yeah. Uh, round four was um, Kashtir, I think. Um, five was, uh, I don't remember what I did. I think five, six, and seven were all it's fire, uh, decks. fire decks. Yeah, I think the one in round seven was some schmuck. And, uh, Nine I did was Dynamorphia. Yeah. Um, was able to thankfully I'll grind him in his traps. Yeah. The, um, uh, didn't need time to win that one, but <laughs> it, it helps. Yeah, I walked over and I saw the time. You had a nine minute time extension. I was like, oh, and he's like, at like, I mean, they pay half, but man, I thought I was I was worried for you. And then I got called over to, to something else so I can watch the rest. So, so yeah. Uh, so what was your one loss to again? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, the one loss was uh, Snake Eyes. Okay. Uh, Snake Eye Fire King. Um, gotcha. He uh, ended up finishing second. Oh, um, yeah, that was Sean Pittman, right? Sean Pittman, yeah. Yeah, he's a very good player, so don't feel bad about that. So, yeah, um, fun deck. I enjoyed it. Cool. Um, Sweet. Yeah. Any, uh, I guess, any shout-outs or any uh, anything you want to say or about the deck? or? All the boys in Muskegon and in yeah. West Michigan. Uh, Mr. Thomas Newman over here for helping me with Snake Eye stuff. Uh, you know, obviously, you helped me test a lot. Yes, sir. Uh, Chase Tish at home helped me test a lot as well. Mm -hmm. And then this guy for driving with or riding with us. Yeah. Instead of judging, he got to play today. Correct. So. Wrong choice. <laughs> <laughs> you got to play relatively. So. Cool. All right. Well, uh, thanks for uh, checking out the profile, guys. And just remember, uh, don't subscribe, don't like, and don't do any of that stuff because I don't care. But also make sure to never, never, ever like and subscribe to Clean Kyb and the Gentleman. Or sorry, that's me. Or uh, <laughs> <laughs> to uh, Woke Up Joey the Lads or Doo Doo and the Boys. Uh, yeah, this is uh, Clean Kyb and the Gents. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, we'll be around. Peace.